Hi, my name is Colin Kilbane, and I want to show you how to do an indoor smoke bomb. Nice part about this smoke bomb is it will not set off the smoke detectors. Now what we're going to use is dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide, and hot water. Now dry ice you have to be very careful, careful with because dry ice is 110 degrees, about 109.5 degrees below zero. And it's cold enough to freeze the skin and give you frostbite in a matter of seconds. That's why I'm using this glove. And even with this glove, it's very cold. So I've got a flask here that you can use a pop bottle or something, but I've got to show you some important safety things. You never want to close off the top of the bottle because the dry ice will continue to expand and eventually burst the bottle, and that can be very dangerous. This one's glass, that's dangerous, but even a plastic bottle can be very dangerous. Plastic bottles can cut through your skin very, especially when they explode with that, with that force, they can cut through your skin, and I've personally taken a couple people to the emergency room for doing just sort of a thing, so don't do that. Okay, we're ready to make a smoke bomb with dry ice. Now, I'm going to pour the water in first. The dry ice will expand and push the water up at you and may scald you. So I'm putting the water in first. Put in some dry ice pellets. Now the nice part about this, these are actually clouds, not smoke, so they won't set off a smoke detector in a building. Note that the clouds are, have CO2 in them, which makes them heavier than air. So this smoke, you can pick it up and pour it out. I have a safety release valve on here, as you can see. That carbon dioxide, as it goes from a solid to a gas is expanding. And this little bit of carbon dioxide I've got in there, this little bit of dry ice, will turn into a whole room full of gas. Okay, at home you can use a pop bottle, but never put the top on and seal it inside. Because this, as you can see, it's pressing out. If you contain it, the dry ice is gonna win, because it's gonna make the pop bottle explode. And even a pl little plastic pop bottle going that fast can cut you right open and give you, you're gonna have to have stitches. So never seal the top off. That's very dangerous. So if I put a stopper in the top, I can, I can make the topper. Pop it, stop. And that is how to make a smoke bomb using dry ice and hot water.